Hey guys, it's Cody Straight Six Archery here in Bozeman today, and we are going to show you how to level and sight in a Fast Eddie XL. Alrighty guys, so today we got the Fast Eddie XL. We're going to level it, and then later on we'll show you sighting in. Um, to start, we want our bright sight leveler, the Fast Eddie XL, obviously. Um, you're probably going to need the spacer piece for the bright sight leveler because the screws on the Fast Eddies are really long. Um, any sort of level, I don't remember who makes this one, but it's level, so we're gonna go with it. And then some Allen wrenches. So, um, once you open up one of these Fast Eddie XLs with the staples that are just asking to cut here, there we go. You pull your sight, pull your housing, pull some extra parts, all the goodies. So, first things first, I'm gonna throw this one on my Fortis. I don't like this size one, I prefer the smaller one, so we're just gonna flip that out. Just as simple as threading it on. It's really, really tight threads, really tight tolerance, so that's awesome. Our next step is we just kind of got to build it out. It's like a, like a cool Lego set or something. I don't know, whatever you're into. We're gonna go with this guy. Perfect. We're gonna go right here, just like that. We're gonna push that. That's the start of that base piece. Next step in terms of building out the site is what we'll call our uh, macro left and right adjustment. Um, there's also some up and down adjustment. So you'll notice it's really long on one end, really short on one end. With anything like the bridge locks or the V3X, um, it gives you that capability to pull it in and out um, or flip it the opposite way for whatever you need. So we're gonna go with this, take the two screws, these parts are not threaded. The part that I just connected to the site is. So we're gonna go right there. We're just gonna keep everything even for the time being. Perfect. Awesome, awesome. So our next step in terms of getting it onto the site you gotta pull this piece right here. This is just your, your screw to bolt that little, uh, I guess, rack down. You'll see it's got a bunch of whole options here. That's for these posts right here. So one, two, and you got tons of options, and then obviously you can flip it and work it different directions. We're gonna go right there. It seems about square for, hopefully, it'll work on my PSC. If not, we'll adjust it. They have the knob on this guy. I'm gonna slide it to about middle. That's where I usually shoot a lot of these dovetailed sights. Tighten it down. For hunting season, I'll probably end up putting the set screw in it um, rather than the knob, just a little less to get caught on anything. Um, before we hook that guy to our thing, I wanna show you this, so they call it the rack stop. Um, this is um, so that you don't run your sight off the rail. So we're gonna pull this guy. This bottom screw right here. It's a little long, there we go. And then we have this little C-shaped thing right here. And so um, this is what's gonna hopefully stop this sight from rolling off on the bottom portion. So there we go. Down and sideways. So I'll throw that on there and then I'll just let it sit loose and I'm going to throw that, I guess we'll call it a set screw, onto the bottom. Retainer screw is probably what they call it. And then, so I'm going to run this rack stop in a second all the way to the bottom because I want to use as much of the drive as possible. Um, obviously you're always going to be adjusting this to 20 and whatnot, but um, and it's always going to sit in the same spot no matter where you put it, but I want to have that capability. So. Maybe shoot those 90, 100 yard shots in the practice season. Tighten that sucker down. So now, we're gonna take that plate piece, and we're gonna take our two screws out of the baggie. They give you about four different baggies with all sorts of stuff. So, this is the bright sight leveler. Um, you can get uh, all this stuff on straight6archery.com. Uh, that's going to give you the capability to get a hold of one of these sites and 
pretty pretty bulletproof sight all the way around. We've been very, very impressed with them. Um, I love the modularity in it. Super adjustable um, for just about any bow in the market, which is awesome. That won't catch. There it goes. So that spacer piece is pulling those threads away because otherwise it'll catch on those red block piece and then you can't up and down it. Oh, just smoke the camera. That's fine. <laughs> so <clears throat> our next step is if you guys can see this bubble here, let me flip it and kind of level it out. So we're going to use the bubble and the bubble on the spot, spot hogs is your first and second, but we're also just going to throw a level on here just to verify. So right now you can see that bubble's floating elsewhere. So. We're gonna kind of angle it up a little bit and I can show you a little bit of what I'm doing. Leveling our bright sight. Get this guy on there. So this guy on here matches what our level has. So I know that these are tight, everything's tight. So, first step is we're gonna loosen these two side set screws. Those are pretty crucial. If you don't and start moving that one around, you're gonna mess up a, that, this upper bolt right here. Perfect. You're gonna take, I believe it's 964. I'm probably wrong. Oh yeah. Wrong. There we go. So, we're gonna loosen that guy. We're gonna loosen this bottom one right here. So now I have my bright sight level are squared and you can see this guy's doing this back and forth. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to take that and I usually try and get my top one set because that's the one that's going to offer the most torque and movement. Okay. And tighten this guy down. And it's just little bits. There it goes. Snug it up. So now, there's that guy right there. And you can look at it on this side too. Let me level it up on the right side for you. You see that bubble is just sitting right square in the center for us. So, there we go. So, our next step is that third axis portion. This is pretty crucial in our atmosphere out here in Montana um, or that western hunting atmosphere or if you're smoking whitetails out of a tree stand with a single pin sight. Um, so this is for all your up and down shots and so we're going to take this guy, we're going to loosen this knob and I'm going to pick my sight up to about 45 degrees usually. I think we got a little lucky on this one but I will show you how it's moved. So we have this guy right here. So you'll see that that level is pretty square, um, right in the center. But we have these two upper ones right here on the front. And so all you're doing with the third axis is you're turning the sight left and right, or excuse me, I guess forward and back in terms of center sake. So I'm gonna take one of these and I'm just gonna show you what it does. So I'm gonna loosen one. Take my short here right here. I'm gonna tighten the other one. So you see that bubbles hard this way so you, this is just a game of kind of cat and mouse we're just going to go into one and out of the other until we get it squared okay we're close so this one's fairly tight this one's loose i know so i'm going to tighten that one up and make sure my other one's tight all right there all right you guys so i got the fast eddy on my bow got a target here at 20 yards got a peep in it and we're going to set it in and show you how to do it we're going to shoot three at 20 and see what we get Yeah, we'll shoot a little high, you know. That was up there. Good night. Yeah, I got that paper on. Just got it sighted in. So, I got all three high and a touch left. Um, so, probably first thing for me is I'm going to want to get my uh, 
left and right out just because it's a little quicker system. So I'm gonna pull these guys. Um, my pin's floating right in here. So we're gonna go and show you how to bump it a little bit and then we'll shoot three more or at least one. And if we're there, then we'll show you on the adjustment where to take it. So like I said before, we're gonna do my left and right first. So I'm gonna take the right size Allen wrench. This one you're gonna take all the way out. And like I said earlier, this is the macro adjustment. Um, we have the micro right here and we can show you how to use that if I need it in the future. Pretty crucial part of this too is making sure that that rack stop is all the way at the bottom. Um, so that's this guy right here that's floating. We want that guy all the way at the bottom so that way we're getting the best. Consider it a zero stop on your site. Okay, that was too much. We're gonna send another one to verify and then I guess we're gonna show you how to use micro adjust. Yep. All right. Grab my Allens, move it back. Here before, tighten that guy down. This is our micro adjust right here, so this is your lever to tighten it. This is our set screw, so clockwise is going to take it and push it away from you towards one layer of floor. Perfect. Let's shoot a third one, and then uh, we'll go full. So we had it on the basis of the first two holes. We bumped it to the left to pull our arrow. And you can see we bumped it too far. So we took it back and then micro clicked it. So um, I'm probably gonna leave this for here. We're in the realm. And then that's the beauty of micro adjust is I can mess with it more and more as we go. So um, we're back in here. We're gonna show you um, the important part of this is, well, first let's start with the Fortis. Any PSE shooter, you're gonna have two sets of holes, um, these two or these two. You gotta make sure you remember which one. So I know I took mine out of the lower ones. Um, so we just gotta focus on that for the future. Um, otherwise, you're gonna mess yourself up even farther. Next step, because I was hitting so high, um, a lot of guys, they would panic because if they're low, they'll just think dial this, um, or if they're high, they'll dial it. That's why we put our racks up at the bottom. And then we have these portions right here. So we're back to the second axis. Um, super important that you're sighting in with a right sight level or nearby. Um, that way you can get the same point of reference for everything and uh, make sure everything's square. So we're gonna loosen those guys again. And then we're gonna take these screws all the way out. Or a lower one, oh, let me throw it. Our upper one. So we're in this hole right here. We're gonna go up just one right now and see what we can do. And again, this is same as this adjustment right here is the macro adjustment. There's small adjustment right here for your ups and downs in the future. Um, and there's always the use of your drip dial system. Okay, tighten that. Tighten that. Don't forget your set screws. There we go. Perfect. We'll throw this guy in there and then we'll go shoot it again. Alrighty. Uh, I just moved that up on that rail, so now we're going to shoot um, 20 yards again and get an idea of what we're getting. Perfect. Alright, I just shot three. I can see the shadows, I definitely can't see the arrows. So, now we're going to go down here, we can see I need. Probably to still micro adjust it a little bit left. I'm still tall right here, and then I'm almost about square. So we're gonna go move it left, check it, and if I had to guess, we'll be doing adjustments up on that housing portion to get it to go. Alrighty, so now we're gonna use our micro adjust clicks. So move our throw, I call it a throw lever. I guess it's probably not that, but um, that's just your tensioner. And then we're just gonna click it again clockwise. And two, 
six, seven, eight. We're gonna give it eight. These are super micro clicks. Um, so I'd love to be able to, able to tell you a number for how far it is, but there's nothing like that in the archery game. So just guess and check until you hit the middle. Okay. Looking at the shadows, I think I'm about halfway as to what we were last time. So I'm gonna give it eight more this way. Eight. Awesome. I definitely pulled it low, but we were good left and right. So my pin was doing this anyway. So um, we're gonna keep the left and right, and then we're gonna probably show you how to move that on that front housing piece to pull these arrows up. So let's do it. All right. So now we're gonna take it and we're gonna move it here on this base piece. Um, you have four holes, tons of options, tons of modularity. That's kind of the beauty of these black black gold spot hog sights. Excuse me. Uh, these fast eddies are clean, super well built. So, so right now I have the four holes lined up. I'm going to take it and just drop it one hole like this. I always want to keep them spaced, I don't want them right next to each other, so I'm going to put them just one apart, because that's all the room we have on it. Awesome, awesome. Hold that one. So it looks like that's too much, so we're going to move it back and then show you uh, your next option, which is using your dial and the rack stop. Alrighty folks, so uh, obviously we hit too high so I moved my site back to our original four um, and then we're just gonna do it right here so that's your tensioner for your dial this business zero stops right there we're gonna just take it and move it down a little bit until we hit the center I'm thinking we're probably there let's go peek out and then I'll show you the last step uh, which is pretty crucial for this guy Okay, I still need a little bit of left adjust. That's all right. So we're right off the side of that dot. So I know that my up and down is perfect. We're gonna take our rack stop right here. We're gonna loosen both of these and slide it up. Now once it's set, I know that we're set for 20 yards at all times that that is connected. Move it 20 yards right there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube. And to get your own Bright Sight Leveler or Fast Eddie XL, go ahead and visit straight6archery.com.